Welcome back to the Brian and Pace podcast. Oh my God. This is happening. This, this is, is happening. a special episode. So Pace and I have made the bold decision yep. to start bringing on guests for this podcast. Now, don't fear, the guests are of the highest quality. The most good, excellent caliber. 10 out of 10. Good banter only. Yes. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Nick Grove. Hello. How's it going? Nice to thank you, Abby. So Nick, if you get your microphone a little closer yeah. to your face, yeah. as a rookie, please Nick, excuse him. Nick is one of uh, the most, not only the most like regular contributors for Fact or Cap stories, but also like mm. the most elaborate and crazy stories. Yep. It's like you were born for this. I yeah, you, you stole my calling in life. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking, you just before, stole it. We were setting up the studio. He just whips out a crazy story. I'm like, mate, yeah, yeah. hold on to that. Yeah, what yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is your bread and butter. So I'm excited. Me too. We've charged yeah. Nick with bringing two stories to the table. Yep. More exciting news. Cool. Um, we have partnered up with a company called suda.com.au. Mm. We have. And now we'll be wearing bedazzled suits every, every single yeah. episode. A fresh tuxedo every week. Yeah. So shout out to those guys. They didn't ask us to give them a shout out on the pod, but we're doing it anyway. Yeah. We're mm. fucking, Super impressed we're with absolute them. Absolute legends. And the suits are awesome. And yeah. we're very excited to be, you know, rocking them each new episode. Totally. We get into it. We should get into it. We got. Uh, what are we drinking today? This is so Nick bought us a bottle. What's it called? Eagle. Uh, Eagle Rare. It's e- like I won it against a guy at work, so he bought me. He bought me a bottle of whiskey. All right. Thanks, Cheers. Dan. Thanks, Cheers. Dan Weston. Welcome to the show, Nick. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. So, as per usual, we're starting with Factor Cap. Mm. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right, you go first. It better, right. be, it better be good, gentlemen. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Did you know the Holocaust would never have happened if Adolf Hitler had gone to art school? Oh, I, I, I've definitely heard about yeah, like I Hitler's, Hitler's about art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So growing up, Adolf Hitler was super passionate about art. When he was young man, <laughs> when he was a young man, he applied to the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts, where he was denied mm. entry twice because mm. his drawing skills were unsatisfactory. Yeah. He would then go on to have an interest in politics after art, beginning with his admiration for Vienna's mayor Karl Luger, a very outspoken anti-Semite. This being the birth of Hitler's ha- hatred of Jews, and the rest is history. I'm an. Oh, I think it's true. I think it's true, but I don't think that's where he began his hatred of Jews. You don't? I no. don't think we don't allow. It. So the rules for this are: it has to be like a fully bullshit story or oh, a fully true. There can't be a part. You can't yeah, make. Yeah. You can't take an existing true story and just like manipulate one little detail because oh, that's not yeah. fair. So it's, uh, it's either it's either true or false. No, no, no. I'm, it, that's not where he he gained his hatred of Jews. So I'm going to say no. Bullshit. Oh, this is what we were talking but it's a good, about. But it's a good story because I know that he- having, wa- a, having a second person adds an, an interesting it's layer. Too, there's too much analysis going the, the on. The problem yeah, is I like, it sway you from like from yeah. saying what is true, but but it could be false. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you're you know an amateur salesman. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amateur yeah. <laughs> <laughs> professional shit. Uh, so did- it, I know Hitler was interested in art school. I yep. thought he went to art school. So I might say it's yeah. bullshit his, as well. His, his art is like super- I'm pretty like, sure he where, did go to art school. Yeah. This is 100% true. Oh, you bitch. No. I was going to say true. No, no, no. I was no, going to no, say no, true. No, he he spoke me out of it. No, but like that's, that can't be where he got it from. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. I thought it was like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, well, you thought yeah. wrong. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Oh, Bang. That's a, good, good that's, shit, that, that's a good start. Keep talking into the microphone, yeah, yeah, please, yeah. my friend. Yeah, He's yeah, got yeah. us out of the gates. All right. Yeah. yeah okay. Look, this is a soft one. Yeah. Okay. This is a fan submission. Uh, did you know that the bird, the ibis bird, is Australia's favorite bird? Okay. But like- Space Are you going to elaborate? I am going to elaborate. <laughs> For however many years, the infamous bin chicken was voted as Australia's top bird until 2019, when some stupid idiot voted for the magpie. They were both in the 90,000s when the magpie overtook it by less than 100 votes. Okay. So for years, the ibis was regarded as Australia's favourite bird, despite it being all massive shared, con- being one all massive shared consciousness movement between Aussies, as in we all hate them. Right. It's, a, it's, it's like, like a, a joke. It's like an ironic It's vote. like a joke yeah. that totally. Okay. So, so the, is it fact or cap? I reckon it's true. You reckon well, it's true? I can't yeah. think of another bird that we would vote as the favorite. I think the only reason the magpie- t- I love the no. no. Wait, wait, he's trying to throw us off. No, I, think, <laughs> I, think the, I think the magpie became popular recently because of the brown cardigan swoopy boys thing and, and videos of, of magpies going around on social media. But I feel like the bin chicken is ironically also you up think, there. I hate magpies. I reckon it's true. I hate bin chickens. Yeah. It's so annoying. They're Cardinals. annoying. But like we, I used to get swooped all the time, like running across the preschool. Fucking right, true so or false? True. Oh yeah, true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scout Johnson, Woo! you couldn't get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Too well easy. done. But yeah, yeah, that's funny, isn't but it? But it's like, like it's like ironically, it's very, Australian. Yeah. very Australian. Very Australian. Very yeah. Australian. You know, we pick like, up drop beers. Like you know, Bodie McBoatface. Yeah, Bodie McBoatface. Or Macaulay Culkin changing his middle name. What? 
Hey, oh, oh, here we go. Here so, we go. The off the so cuff story. He, he, he ran the, like, right. he, introduce the story. So, Macaulay Golgan, who's like a bit of a freak, right? Uh, he, he ran like an internet poll to be like, okay, whoever, whatever's the highest voted uh, name, I'll change my middle name. No and way. they voted that his middle name would be Macaulay Culkin. So, he, <laughs> so his name. <laughs> yeah, so he, he formally changed his name to Macaulay, Macaulay Culkin Culkin. <laughs> you, you freak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. true? Oh, that one's true. That's yeah, not my no, story, no, no. but that's like, just true. No, yeah. that's yeah. the best way to trick people is to add a story that relates to the current story and make it bullshit because you're coming up with it on the yeah, fly. Yeah, okay, I got yeah. Dale a few times with them. Yeah, yeah. It's not hard to get Dale though. Oh, here, yeah, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Pace, Pace, sorry. How do you? Nick, you're up. All right, I'm up. All right, all right. All right. All right. Speaking of the microphone. All right, all right. Did you know that the CIA tried to kill Fidel Castro with an exploding cigar? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> the CIA tried to kill Fidel Castro, like assassinate him over 463 times. Fucking hell. And so they, which would be so stressful, right? Like you're, you're like you people are trying to kill you all day, every day. And uh, they started with like really conventional styles of like assassination. Like some guy tried to shoot him with a rifle. Yeah. And then in 1964, they tried to, th this is kind of funny. They tried to throw grenades at him at a baseball game. Nice. I guess like hoping that he'd just be like, oh, <laughs> Oh, he catches a, catch a grenade. Uh, and then in 2000, they tried to like blow up a podium that he was standing on to do a speech. And then when all these conventional styles of assassination kept failing, they had to become a bit more crafty. So they tried to rig up, because he loved Cuban cigars. Yeah. They tried to rig up a Cuban cigar with a small amount of explosives that would blow his head off. But he saw the, <laughs> but, but he saw the cigar probably like beeping or something. Yeah, yeah, like a red, and then he a was like, red light. He was like, nah, nah, nah. And they were like, no. I imagine it being like Roadrunner. Like all these like stupid attempts. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. So yeah. they tried to lace a box of Cuban cigars with like a neurotoxin. They tried to like rig up a, a chocolate milkshake with explosives and like a, like a poison. They even, they got one of his ex lovers to try and poison him and he saw it coming and then he stopped and gave her a gun. and was like, are you trying to kill me? He had the gun. And she was like, no, no, no. And then they ended up having sex. So that's like, a power oh, move. That's a big power yeah, move. Yeah, that's yeah. a James so Bond he, move yeah, right Fucking hell. Yeah, he dodged every assassination attempt and died at, at like age 90. Mm. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, very, very durable man. Yeah. Oh, man, Nick's a dangerous player in this you game. You are a dangerous beast. <laughs> <laughs> you threw in so many extra bits of information in that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck no. You know what? I'm going to say true. I'm going to say bullshit because this guy's a dickhead. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think the, the 400, the specific 400 is a number that I was like, oh, it's gotta be true. There's yeah. a there's a word that describes adding extra features to like a story to make it believable. It's called embellishing? No, no, but this is a specific, <laughs> there's a specific word. Right. So. Great story. Hey. Good start. Well done. That's a great hey, entrance. First guest story we've heard. Huh? Fucking hell. Face, you're up. All right. Oh, my problem now is that I know you don't know this shit, but I know Nick knows all of the crazy Nick facts there. I've given you all your crazy facts. <laughs> I know. Um, all right, I got another one. I got another one. Okay. This is the worst ever attempted kidnapping. The most hilariously bad attempted kidnapping. In 2014, three American entrepreneurs, Nick Hendricks, Dale Arbus, and Kurt Buckman, working on a new shower technology, a, a new shower technology product, attempted to kidnap the son of their millionaire investor, Bert Hansen, after a deal went sour, which left them all in $500,000 of debt through staffing and production costs. They'd made 100,000 of the units, right? Mm. Investor Bert Hansen then pulled out of the deal claiming that he never signed the agreement and that he would try to take over the company for, through like a foreclosure. Mm. In retaliation, Nick, Dale and Kurt attempted to kidnap <laughs> Bert's son, Rex, for a ransom of a million dollars, which inevitably fell through when the three were found passed out in Rex's wardrobe after accidentally exposing themselves to nitrous oxide. The gas was planned to be used to <laughs> knock out Rex, knock but out due to himself. a faulty valve, it opened early when they were waiting to pounce. And obviously it was all over the news and they, it was like the most famously hilarious botched kidnapping. I think like he throws in like it was all of the news. No, he can't make that up. I don't think he can make that up. There's too many names getting thrown out. Yeah, but he also put like Dale and Nick as two of the captors. Oh, true. And then he might have read that and gone like this. A this little Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this can't. Like, they, they'll get you know sucked in. I'm gonna go with true. Uh, I'm gonna go with true. No. <laughs> this was a fan submission from Warwick Jones. Shout out to Warwick Jones. This is complete bullshit, oh. and it is the plot of Horrible Bosses too. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, can just I don't even think I've That's seen the movie. So yeah. It kind of is true in a way. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Well, I mean, it's a true story. It's a true I guess. fake story. A true yeah. fake yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. brilliant. Yeah, Warwick, that good. Warwick oh, you man. legend. That's so good. Good guy, Warwick. GG. Yeah. GG. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> That's good. Wait, wait, but you swapped the names Dale and Nick. No, no, those are the actual names of the characters. Is that the, the name of the movie? Yeah. Oh, it is too. Yeah, Dale. He's oh, the, the come on. high pitched voice guy. Yeah. Oh, oh Charlie go. from yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even think Warwick knew that that would have been a, a little applicable Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Wow. Um, did you know there's a movie that has already been made set to come out in 100 years? Ooh. So right. a science fiction film written by John Malkovich titled 100 Years is a film you'll never see. Scheduled to release in 2115, 100 years, so it's filmed in 2015, yeah. inspired by the length of time it takes for a bottle of Lewis, some Roman number here, yeah. Cognac to be aged properly before it's released to consumers. Wow. As well as this, nothing is known about the plot of 100 Years. And the film itself has been stored behind a high-tech safe with an automatic timer to be released exactly 100 years from when it was locked. Wow. Mm. I, uh, it's a sci-fi it, film? It's too ridiculous. Science fiction. And imagine if like, the formatting of the, like, of the movie can't even be played in 100 yeah. years. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like a VHS and we're like, we're going to play. Yeah, yeah. It'll probably be like uh, all virtual stuff in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Freaking uh, hell. What's going on out there? Yeah. Please don't park. Oh, okay, good. It's like it's it's like a like a like a time chest, but for movies. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, um, but how mad the plot isn't known. Like yeah. no one knows anything about. I mean, I guess some people do. But There's just no plot. It's just known. like a you suck and on. Piece of I paper. hate this story. I'm gonna go bullshit. It's pretty good. Bullshit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go true. It's completely true. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Fan submission. However, I had actually heard of this like two days before I saw the set mm-hmm. fan submission. And I thought it was a great one. Yeah. So yeah, John Mil- Malkovich directed a movie called 100 Years in 2015. It's been locked up. Yeah, wow. I imagine it's just it's just like shit when it comes oh, out. No, no, it will be. Probably is a sh- it's it will be. Later. It'll be. Yeah. It'll be like in four dimensional. But imagine technology. how interesting it'll be. But then the question is, could they not just watch a movie from a hundred years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Although, mm. but I think it's probably a plot to do with like our predictions Challenge of the future accepted. or something. I'll be there when it comes out. It's but like yeah. watching Back to the Future in 2012. No, yeah. 2015, which was the future. Yeah. And was, watching yeah. that and going- We're past the Back to the Future. We're way future. past it. Yeah, we're, 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 yeah. we're way past it. We haven't got that hoverboard. hoverboard. Yeah, 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 exactly. Board. And it's like, it's interesting <laughs> seeing their predictions mm. of the future with just like existing stuff, but more advanced. Like yeah. skateboards with no wheels, but shoes with no laces. Like yeah, crappy yeah. cars that could fly. Yeah, yeah. Not like iPhones and Face ID and everything. Yeah, yeah. All righty, Nick. Alrighty, I'll see if I can remember this one. Um, so have you heard of the, it's the luckiest and the most unluckiest skydiver of all time? Okay. So Joan Murray, uh, 46, was, she's a, she's a bank executive and uh, from, from Charlotte, North Carolina. And she started skydiving later on in life. And she, she's not a pro or an amateur. She, she'd skydive about 35 times. Solo? So on the 25th of September, 1999, she was attempting her 36th solo dive. Uh, it's pretty, like, skydiving is safe. You're only like 20 yeah. people a year die, like mm. way less than on the roads. And she remembers the jubilation of jumping out of the plane and about 45 seconds after falling, she pulled like the ripcord for her parachute and it didn't deploy. But like, that's why you have a, a reserve. Yeah. So she pulled the reserve, but she pulled it at the wrong angle. And then she started going to like a death spiral. Right. And then all the cords got tangled. Oh. Um, and her friends were there watching. And from like 700 feet, she started like plummeting the earth. Oh. And she hit over hundred kilometers an hour. And when she hit the, she, yeah, hit, hit the earth at over hundred kilometers an hour and it like broke every bone in her body. What? And like, and like she was supposed to die, right? But when they took her to hospital, the doctors were baffled that she survived. She was she was still alive. What the fuck? And then, uh, and like one hour after, she started getting all these like weird dots on her body, and the doctors figured out that she had landed on a fire ant's nest, and that fire ants adrenaline in, they injected this venom into her body that triggered her respiratory system and hit her with heaps of adrenaline, and they kept her heart alive long enough to go to uh, no go to I almost said prison. Way. Long enough to go to hospital and she made a full recovery. She no. didn't even go for disability and she kept working and kept skydiving. Holy oh, Joan Murray. Crap. She's indestructible. You, go. You can't hit something at 100 kilometers an hour. No, more, and- more. I think, I think it was like 80, no. 80 miles. And then she hit, it, it crushed almost. Oh, she hit the ground so hard, it, the, the, it knocked the fillings out of her teeth. <laughs> This I can't I, be true. I don't think you can hit the this ground that fast. This can't be true. I don't think yeah, you can yeah. hit the ground that fast. Your, your brain would just explode. Yeah. Like, surely. Yeah. It would. <laughs> <laughs> 700 feet? That's like 700 subways. That's I'm like, that's 100% bullshit. There's no way. Oh, man. He's so tricky. There's no way. This yeah. is tough. Yeah. It's tricky because I believe them all. I'm going to say bullshit. You better say bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. 100% true. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, oh, don't yeah. worry. Save for the fire ants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Survived at that speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 she landed on her right side. It said it crushed. It just turned to jelly. It, yeah, jelly on her right side. She had like is basically half bionic now. So she had all these like metal rods attached to her body, and she she went back to working in the bank, and she keeps skydiving, and she's like pretty much untouched now. Oh my god. Yeah, Joan Murray, like in Terminator. Holy crap. Whoa. Yeah, she's five. Imagine the so sound that the, the body would have yeah. made when it hit the ground. She's like, the oh. thud. Yeah, yeah. The thud yeah. and just she'd, like, I, she'd have no memory, surely. She'd just be no, like, no, she just remembers. She just lost she so remembers much blood and like. She, had, she was in a coma for like two weeks and then she had like 19 blood transfusions or something. Jeez. What about your brain? Like, no. I guess that's your only trauma. Thing. That's yeah. the only thing that can, if, as mm. long as the brain's intact, I guess you're good to go. Yeah, the body survived, so she was fine. Wow. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah, Joe Murray. Yeah, yeah. Great story. Oh my God. Fire ants. Fucking hell. Mm. All right, Dale, what you got? Well, that's it. Two stories each. Oh, I got one more. All right, you go. All right. Uh, are you guys on top of F1 news? Uh, I watched the latest one. So did you hear that Daniel Ricciardo last night broke his ankle, taking him out of the 2022 F1 season? Ooh. Well, last night, like as of last like, night. Like, literally, literally last, last night. night. Last night. Wow. Yeah. So he wasn't partying. He wasn't doing any extreme sports like he often does. He was just playing basketball. After training, letting off steam with his coach uh, named Michael Italiano on the basketball court. He made one wrong move and jumped and landed poorly, resulting in a broken ankle. McLaren, McLaren announced this a few hours ago and have informed that the backup driver, Oscar Pistari, will be stepping up to take his place. The repercussions of this are yet to be announced, but Australian fans have been devastated. His, the coach's last name is Italiano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, it is. Come on. It is, uh, Italiano. So I, I think that I would know. I don't, really, I don't follow F1, but like, yeah. I think that I would know. I reckon it's, oh, it's mm, bullshit. Oh, actually, but he doesn't race for, for Mercedes. Is he he McLaren. McLaren. I said McLaren. McLaren. Okay. Uh, I, I, what has he done yet? What has he done so far? How many bullshit stories have you done so far? One bullshit, one true. Oh, okay. I reckon he, he wants to, does he reckon he wants to stack the bullshit or stack the truth? Don't look into that. Look into the story. Yeah, I'm okay. looking into the story. I'm trying so to- playing basketball, what? Does it, yeah, I reckon it's true. Are there more races? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be a true. Complete bullshit. Oh. Oh, I just suck you now. Absolute suckers. We would have known. Oh. And the, but the true part is Michael Italiano is his real trainer. Oh, and his real last the, name. <laughs> when you real. said that, I looked at Nick and we were just like, that is the true, but that's the true part yeah, of the yeah. story. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's fine. He's all good. Good. Yeah. Uh, well, um, also, if you suckers, there aren't pedals on F1 cars. They don't drive with their ankles. So he could be fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, that's bullshit. No, that's bullshit. Oh. That's <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> no, but you change gears and shit with your fingers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. still have pedals in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. <clears throat> All right. Dad jokes. Do 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 Dad jokes. Man, I have some rippers. Yeah. I feel like 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 maybe one good one. One. Okay. Okay. Last episode was our most amazing dad joke section. We had some some wicked dad jokes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we start? I got a good one here. Yeah. All right. Go All right. Ooh. So did you hear that they have barcodes on ships in Norway? Barcodes on ships. It's so they can Scandinavian. I feel like I thought I was ready for a, a story. I forgot it was a joke. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got really big like scanners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good one. Uh, that's good. How do, you, uh, how do you follow Will Smith, uh, which is very tough. How do you follow Will Smith when he's in the snow? I followed the Fresh Prince. Oh, oh he told us that one. No. He did a joke last week. No, 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 it's just one. <laughs> that was okay, okay, okay. So okay. I didn't do their okay. research. Okay. Um, what? All right, Dale's go. Okay. Okay. How many tickles? Sorry. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Like, oh, don't, no, don't fall for it. It's not tentacles, is it? Is it tentacles? Ten tickles. Oh, okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's really good. That's an easy so, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I thought yeah. it was too obvious. <laughs> yeah, damn it. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Ash. Ash who? Bless you. Uh, <laughs> got him. Uh, I've, got I've, him. Got a, I've got one. Um, I, 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 it's not on my, on my sheet, but a good, a good knocker joke. Okay. Yeah, knock, knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good I've one. I've heard it too many times. Uh, yeah, you've heard, Talking in the microphone. You've heard it from me. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, fair. One. What time does Sean Connery turn up to Wimbledon? Wait, hey, what? Around time. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. There you go. Yeah, I know all your jokes, man. I know. It's not fair. I know. Um, 
<laughs> a man walks into a doctor's office. What seems to be the problem? Mm. Asks the doctor. It's, well, I have five penises, replies the man. Mm. Fucking hell, says the doctor. How do your trousers fit? Like a glove. Uh, oh, yeah. So bad. That's, There's so much potential. Yeah, but, but it wouldn't because he's got like five dicks and yeah, two legs. So like it just yeah. really wouldn't work. Three penises yeah. for that. And you're looking into yeah, it too I, much. Yeah. The neck. Yeah, yeah I know. The one. <laughs> what is Beethoven's favorite fruit? Hold on. A banana. Oh, we would have never got that. We would have never, we would have never got it. Fuck you. That, that joke is, is more fun for the person saying it than for everyone else listening. Because I wanted to say that. So though. shit. <laughs> That's got to be one of the worst ones so far. That's so good. Nah. Um, All right. What do, you, what do you call a factory that only makes like okay things? Satisfactory. Oh, <laughs> wow, Nick, this sucks. Nick's gotten grilled. <laughs> this, this, this sucks. I'm out of here. Nick's gotten grilled. I, I don't know. I, uh, All right. Um, Damn it. I don't know. I got this joke about chemistry, but I just don't know if I'll get the reaction that I wanted. Oh, mm, man, um, that one's, yeah, that's a classic. It's a classic. <laughs> it's a classic. It's a classic. All right. Why don't crows get hit by automobiles? Oh, uh, they, because they warn each other. Oh, he's loving he's loving like the the the, the verbal jokes. Yeah. yeah, like the verbal theatrics. Very simple yeah, humor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh so I've got this friend of mine. Uh he's addicted to brake fluid, but but he says he can stop at any time. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's a classic. I that's a, coming. That's a classic. classic. On, I need I need a oh, I need to dig deep. Yeah, we've got to dig deeper. Yeah. All right. Um Whew. All right, last one, last, last one. one. Why do you never see a seagull flying over a bay? Mm. I don't know <laughs> because they're not bagels. Seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh man, yeah. you had some really bad ones. So yeah. Like, oh, these have been yeah, we need shockers. to stop. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have been shocking. Uh, All right, what do we got? Would you rather?s Yeah. Do 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 I'll go first. Redemption from the okay, dad okay, joke okay, section. Okay, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this one's from Arwed Pale. Mm. Interesting name. Cool name. Would yep. you rather eat living? Would you rather eat living insects for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. or eat dead people? Insects. Living insects. Rest living of your insects. life. Wait, can I choose what body part of can the you kill dead the insect? I mean, you kill them, I guess, when you eat them. Yeah, but they're alive when you eat them. I met a guy. People in used to do that back in the day. That was hunters and gatherers. Yeah. 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 People also used to eat people. You can eat people as long as you don't eat organs. Because they send you crazy. But what is it? Yeah, I'm just going to get insects. Uh, well, okay, I'm going to go insects. Wait, so you can't kill them? Well, I mean, when you eat them. When you, you eat them, them, they die. But like, they're so alive, I, they're like... Because I, I once met a bug cuisinist and he was saying like that his bug spaghetti, you, would you couldn't tell. Like, yeah, yeah. sweater already, bug yeah, spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he was like, yeah, that's my job is to go... No, but they'd be dead in the spaghetti. Not, Which means that you... would be like squ writhing and squirming. So you can do what this guy does, which is like make them into like edible. No, like they're alive when you eat them. So that's your only dish. Oh, fuck me. Do you can I <laughs> can I cook can I cook the human? Can I turn the yes, human meat yes, into like a yes. curry or whatever? Do we, yes. do we get like fresh yes. human meat? Do you eat alive insects or dead humans? Can I choose the human that's later? So unhealthy for you, just dead humans, like no vegetables. It's it's protein insects. It's just you know carnivore diet. People are doing mm. it all the time insects. I'm gone, people. <laughs> <laughs> I could turn that into so many different things. No, no, yeah. Insects. Have like, you seen Hannibal? Yeah. yeah. I have, I have, but yeah. he cooks, he adds a lot of vegetables. He doesn't just give yeah, human. True. Yeah, but also- he, he makes it into like a full cuisine. But I could also just put like but one, make, one like, teeny tiny bit of human into a like sushi. Everything you know. you're eating is live insects. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Is uh, your whole or, or dead human. Yeah, it sucks either way. You got to make it. Yeah, I would go people. I think it's a more diverse diet. <laughs> That's I think good. more nutrients. I agree. I, I'm, I'm agreeing with Nick here. You're a people person? Yeah, I'm a people no. person. <laughs> nice. But I just think there's more variety and like, does that mean that you could put like a, a tiny inch of human into like a, like a dish and then no, like no, that, no, that no, suffices? No, no, no. Only you human eat. or only insects. Horrendous alive. diet. It's just oh, I might swap back. Yeah. <laughs> Team insects. Right. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I made this one. I didn't make this up, but I was just, it just got me thinking after this, this camp I was on. The Matrix, right? We all know the Matrix? Yep. Would you genuinely rather take the blue pill or the red pill? 
keep in mind, Neo didn't know the ramifications of his actions. Sure. And I think he, out of curiosity, but we know the ramifications. If the Matrix is real, would you rather? Yeah. Would you, I wouldn't want to know, I don't think. Think about Cyrus. Like Cyrus the virus. Like he, is that from that movie? No, that's from. Cyrus the virus. That's from a different movie. But he chooses to go back. So he, he chose the, I can't remember which, which pill did what, but he chose one pill and was like, nah, I'm going to go back. Yeah. Mm. I would rather just stay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I actually kind of disagree with my interest. I thought the machines are feeding off us. We don't know any better. We're yeah. in an all right life. Like, win-win scenario. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's the whole simulation art yeah, argument. Yeah. And is it even that bad? Yeah. That's a terrifying question, mm. uh, question to have to answer. Um, I think my ego and my curiosity would make me- Red pill? Red pill. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think I'd go with Dale, especially if we were to, together. Oh, oh, we were together. Team. If we were together, we dream would team, do, go together. No, but the question is, you know it. It's not curiosity now. Yeah, like we know this. Oh. We know what happened. We know it's true. We know the Matrix and everything. Knowing oh, what you know, would you, you take the pill? Because I think everyone would. I would add a, add a curiosity as well. Yeah, but like knowing that you're going to go into a horrendous, apocalyptic, dark world with no sunlight. Your, all your friends die around you and everything. But it's not curiosity. If you know, then it's just like making a choice. Yeah, it's like either fighting against machines or just accepting defeat. Uh, yeah, but purpose. Do I, yeah. Also, do you I get never, to be near? You'd never be short of purpose in that in that life. I feel like you can have purpose in the simulation, though. Oh yeah, you can. Like we have purpose, but yeah, yeah. and we're in a simulation. Not, we're not saving the world <laughs> yeah. yet. And, true, true. And how strong am I? You know, like like Neo is pretty strong, but like some of the other people, are like aren't no, strong. Just Nick, oh. Nick Grove level strength. No, no, but some of them are, yeah, okay. <laughs> so real strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I, I'm not taking the pill. Okay, nice. Yeah. Blue pill. Who's his? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what you got, Nick? Uh, this is a shit compared to yours. Um, oh, would you rather, uh, would you rather never be able to use shampoo ever again or never be able to use toothpaste? To oh, shampoo. shampoo. I, I don't use shampoo anyway. I barely use shampoo as well. Yeah, me, me neither, but like. <laughs> 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 like, I feel like, but I feel like for for girls, like, like they'd be like, okay, if I could never wash my hair, that would be like catastrophic. No, but, but also tooth toothpaste, teeth gone. is catastrophic as well. That's more, catastrophic. and that's actually no. genuinely yeah. unhealthy. Like I think not washing your hair isn't that unhealthy. No, it's it's better for your hair. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Was actually not brushing your teeth would be unhealthy. Yeah, because you you're putting sugar and everything and making it worse. Yes, yeah. well, you can get you can get brain disease through your gums. Like yeah. through gum disease can affect mm. your brain. Yeah, yeah. That's is that what you have? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, that's, that's an easy one. Yeah. I do go. shampoo my hair, just not very. Yeah. I thought this one was quite interesting, actually, if I may say so myself. Would you rather speak all the languages in the world or be able to talk to animals? Oh, uh, animals for sure. Yeah. 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 Languages, man. Yeah, but I've never in all my life had a need for, to use another language. Yeah, but if you could speak fun. all of them, how fucking cool would that be? It'd be cool, but I just can't see it that practical use in my life. You're and a person should... who talks to people. For I know. A living. In the future, I'm sure when I'm traveling and stuff, it will be. But like, I feel like I Talking interact. To animals. Yeah. That's a podcast one in itself. I can just translate what they're saying. Yeah. I'll, I'll put a monkey there and be like, oh, he just said that he likes <laughs> bananas. And then you can totally lie and be like, yeah, that guy hates, that guy hates yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, polar bears hate it when we yeah. you know, take photos of them and yeah. flash yeah. them. I mean, I think you'd go with talking to animals just because it's more unique. Yeah. Because they're, you know, people- Definitely. And with technology, for all we know, we'll be able to speak every language in the world. Definitely. But we'll never be able to speak to animals. No. And I also interact with like probably more animals than I do people that don't <laughs> speak English. Yeah. Like I see, you know- Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. badger or something yeah. like- yeah, but probably, you see a badger. Probably not that many badgers, but like a possum. You know, yeah. like yeah, 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 or like a little, like a little rodent. You know, yeah, it'd be yeah. good to be Which like. You hey, want man. to know what the animals are thinking? I mean, that's where we get into. It's not practical because I don't think animals have a high enough consciousness to actually think. At yeah. the, like yeah. it would just be food, food, food. You know, yeah. just be like yeah. stupid words. Like, if it was like Nigel Thornberry and you could actually speak, is that is that it? Smashing. Yeah, it's my yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got his nuts. Thornberry. Um, to, to yeah, yeah, when you had a mustache or when you had a. A, f a f yeah, proper flex. Yeah, proper, yeah, proper curly one. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't yeah. it his daughter or something that could speak to animals? And they actually have consciousness. Eliza. Eliza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah something yeah. like that. Mad, mad bitch. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So there you go. Animal would you people. rather, would you rather be a genius and know everything or be elite at every sport in the world? Elite at every sport. I feel like Ooh. the smarter you are, the, the more, more miserable you are. Yeah, the more miserable you are yes. almost. Definitely. Like, it's, definitely. Like Rick, it's like Rick and Morty. Yeah. Definitely. All, all the smartest people that I know, all, all the ones that are the saddest people. Yeah. yeah. And all so, the dumbest people are happy. <laughs> like me. <It's> true. <laughs> like us. Like us. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the but like Tony Stark, Rick and Morty thing. They show these guys who are high level mm. intellect and just, so kind of, they've got bad social lives. They're sad. They're well, yeah. And just because you're good at the sport doesn't mean you're dumb. Yeah. I mean, I guess you'd just be your normal self and yeah. the leader of the sport. Which is, Elite would, level intellect anyway, so. Yeah. You would be so hated. 
you'd be so hated, like, because you win at every sport. And so every sport, like. But imagine you're, being a genius at everything. Yeah, like, but like. No one's a genius. A geni- like, you know, Einstein was a genius at a certain thing. Yeah. Imagine being a genius at everything. Yeah, you know, you know, his his Ooh, brain. All right, here's here's a, here's, here's like a quandary. Yeah, yeah, here's a quandary. You could actually probably affect greater, more positive world change by being a, a genius, genius at everything. Definitely, yeah. even if even at the cost of your own happiness, I suppose. Yes, definitely. I think, especially if you can establish that you're a genius at everything, which I think you'd be able to do very quickly. Yeah, like with social media. Yeah. I think you'd get oh. killed pretty fast. <laughs> the world would want to no, take you, you out, like 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 enemy countries would want to take yeah. you out because like if you're like try, they bring you in to solve world war problems or something because yeah. negotiation. Yeah. But something. sport, you just like oh wow, have you just be like a, a mad dog? Yeah, you'd be yeah. like Ronaldo and just like live it up. Yeah, but like the just the jock on every campus. You could, imagine like, you would be like yeah, but also the most wanted but, person. Like you'd, yes, you win the grand you slam, thirty five, forty, and that's it. Do you stay good forever? No, you can't. I guess so, but yeah. whereas genius intellect will stay with you. I guess let's say you're guy, technically huh? elite at the sport, meaning fitness, you've got to work on yourself and stuff. So yeah. you can score goals from, you know, left, right, center. You can hit the ball in <laughs> tennis, right? Yeah. You know, I guess you just go to the next sport, like just, you just jump F1 one way. You'd be so or... good instantly that you would get bored because <sighs> you would know that the next sport you'd be so good versus like a genius that's like no, tr- no struggle. You, yeah. All right, this I'm going, going mate, this is going, this I'm, going I'm going genius. I'm going genius. Right. Yeah. Going genius? Yeah, you going? you'd solve the problems. Oh, yeah. switched yeah. it. All right, nice. Mm. Last one? Mm. You want more? <sighs> oh, this one was uh, like, would you rather your entire life was just listening to the same, same 10 songs on repeat or the, or the same five movies on repeat? Oh, that's Wait, brutal. You, you would like always in your ear. Yeah, it's yeah, it's always in your ear. Oh, the so same. No. So you can do other things, but you always have the same ten songs on repeat. Or I, mean, I really think about this one. No, no, like, I prefer. Like, do you I prefer are, when you listen to music, you can only only listen to these ten songs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And or when, when you're you watch watching a movie, movie, you can only watch those five. Yeah. Because my my immediate I, thought for me it would be movies because I just I just you're watch a musician. Yeah. yeah, you're a musician. I yeah, was, true. I, I think, just skip the movies and I just listen to whatever music I wanted. I think yeah, the music would be more of a hindrance. When you're out at clubs, when you're around places. <laughs> no, no, because you're always just dancing. Like you're always loving it because you're always dancing to, to like your favorite song. You hate those songs though. Yeah. You would learn to hate those songs very quickly. Yeah, but you'd you learn to fake that you love them <laughs> so fast. So I, what do you got in music? Oh, because I immediately thought that like you would have to sit and watch the movie. So I thought, oh, well songs, I can still do things, but movies I have think to stay. music as an art form and as a cultural implement is way more important than movies. Mm, definitely. So I could therefore, get you some disagreements in the comments. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take them. Therefore, I think I'd rather be able to have free freedom of music than freedom of. Oh, look, I love movies. I mean, I want to be a filmmaker at points in my life. Maybe I still will in the future, but I probably have the same music as well. Yeah, I choose movies for sure. Like I oh, could watch yeah. Wayne's World. Like I could just choose that one. Could be one of your five. Oh, no, yeah, I'll, use- I'll drop to one and yeah. just Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, Nick, thanks for coming on the podcast. Thank Nick, you. Thank you for having me. Nick, you outdid yourself. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll unpack that after <laughs> yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you some, so much, man. We're going to cook thank up you. some burgers, have a oh, feed. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. beef. Yeah. Uh, Very excited. Any but- any updates? Um, just, you know, obviously the rate and review is super ap- appreciated. Yeah. Subscribe or whatever it is. Show us that you're listening. That's send us some cool. good stories. I'm getting some shockers coming in. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like I'm getting some shock, really mm. average, like one line or like just not interesting stories. They but, need to be interesting mm. and make them up. Yeah, that mm. F1, that was, I can't believe you guys fell for the F1 one. Yeah, yeah, I rushed yeah. that. It was really poorly written. Yeah. Like you guys can get roasted in the comments. They can be like, how did you fall for it? Fuck them. It's, it's always easy in hindsight to, yeah. to know it was fake. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm sure I could pick them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, 100% I'll pick them all. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Much love. Much Thank love. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. We've Thank got you some burgers. See you next week. Peace out. Bye.